Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I will show you the best Obsidian plugins you should install. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to access our Obsidian and our setting. So by default, plugins or community plugins is not enabled on our Obsidian application here. So at the lower left of your screen, you should see a gear icon. So let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, look for the option that says community plugins. Now we also have the core plugins here, which actually comes with Obsidian. And you can go ahead and turn on some of the plugins here, like for example, bookmarks, canvas, command palette, and a lot more. Now let's go back to community plugins. And from here, let's go ahead and hit on turn on community plugins. Now in here, once you've clicked on it, you'll be able to access a few settings under community plugins. Now in this case, sometimes when you install plugins into your application here, some of it might not work and some of it actually has bugs. Now, if you want to properly fix those bugs, then I would suggest you to turn on restricted mode here. So restricted mode is a very helpful tool wherein if you encounter any bugs and you're not sure which plugin is causing that problem, then turning this on would actually disable all the plugins that you have right now. Now, in this case, we want to search for the plugins that we want to use. So for example, let's go to community plugins here, click on browse. Now, in this case, it's going to open up the community plugin page in here. Now, we could use the search functionality here to basically search for it. Now, one of the very important plugins that you should install into Obsidian is the setting search plugin. So, in this case, let's just type in setting search here. And once you've done that, you should be able to see setting search here. So what does this uh, plugin do? Well, from the name itself, it's going to basically allow you to search for very specific settings. Because before, when we go back into our settings, so I'm just going to give you an idea here. When we go back into our settings here, we don't have the search bar. So in this case, let's go ahead and install that. So let's just type in search setting here. And from here, click on it. And from here, we want to click on install. Now here it's going to install the plugin itself, just wait for it to be installed, and as you can see, it is now installed. Now also within the plugin page, you'll also be able to see the current version, who is the developer for it, and the repository for it, which is for GitHub, and the last updated a month or a uh, specific date. Now in this case, I would suggest you to only install plugins that are at least a few months old when it was actually last updated because most likely they have minimal or no bugs at all. So if you install like for example, you install a, a plugin that is a few like for example a year ago or even six months ago, sometimes there's going to be bugs in it because Obsidian uh, sometimes give out update and some of those updates might not be compatible with the plugin itself. So in this case, just check the last update here and see if it's actually current or if the version is currently updated or was less updated by the developer itself. Now going back, we want to close this one and we want to close it again. From here, let's go back into settings. And from here, if you don't see the plugin itself, what we need to do is we need to restart our Obsidian. So let's just restart. Also, when you install the plugin, make sure that you actually enable it. So in this case, we want to enable search setting here. And as you can see at the top left of your screen, search is now available. And if you want to search for a setting or if you want to search for a plugin, you'll be able to do it in this specific plugin here, which makes things a lot easier for you, especially with the amount of things that you can do here in Obsidian. Now, the next plugin that I would actually suggest you to try is going to be the Commander plugin. So let's just go ahead and browse for it. Go to search community plugins and just type in Commander. So in this case, let's go ahead and open this up. And again, this is the uh, plugin page. And this is you'll be able to see details about it and what it does. And if you want to donate or support the developer itself. So what does Commander do? Well, Commander actually gives you the ability to change the spacing for command button buttons as well as customizing Obsidian. Now, in this case, you'll be able to add commands, remove commands, reorder commands, edit commands, hide commands, and choose which device commands appear on. So if this, if your account is or your uh, Obsidian is sync 
to other four users, then you'll be able to choose whatever commands appear on it. So you might be wondering what are commands? Commands are helpful tools or actions that you could use to specifically do some specific actions. So here in the demo, as you can see, they were able to add, delete, or even use commands. Now in this case, let's go ahead and install this one, click on install. And from here, let's just go back into our setting here. I want to enable this one. So let's just exit this one. And as you can see, when we actually go to the left side here, again, if the if this doesn't appear again, make sure to start re uh, Obsidian. So by the way, if you don't see the button here that says add command, well, we could go to settings at the bottom left here, and you should be able to see the commander plugin is as well in this location here. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and go to ribbon, top bar, status bar, editor menu, and from there on you could go ahead and just start adding your commands in this case I went to the ribbon section here and added an export to PDF button and as you can see we have this icon here that we just use it or we just recently added and in this case whenever I click on this one it's going to perform the following option which is actually export to PDF so this it will actually make things a lot easier for you which you'll be able to easily access and customize your experience here on Obsidian. Now, another plugin that you might want to try is going to be the data view plugin. So let's just type in data view here and we want to go ahead and open it up. So what does data view do? Well, data view will treat your Obsidian Volk here similarly as a database where in this case, you'll be able to perform queries, provide JavaScript API, you'll be able to search, extract data from markdown pages, and a lot more. So basically, you'll have a database in your workspace here in Obsidian, which is something really cool if you're familiar with using database. Now, database is a great way for you to organize your data. Like for example, you have your columns here and the data itself. So you'll be able to organize different information. Like for example, your name here, time played, length, rating, and a lot more. Now, another plugin that would uh, that would I actually suggest you to try is going to be Calendar. Now, from the name itself, Calendar is a plugin where, in this case, you will be able to basically view a calendar and have a visual representation of your daily notes. Now, if you're constantly creating notes in a daily basis, then a calendar here could help you a lot. Now, the last plugin that I would actually suggest you to try using is going to be a book search. Now, book search is a plugin wherein you will be able to search and basically add details about a very specific book. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on install here. And from here, we want to go back into our settings and we want to make sure that the book search plugin is turned on. Now, from here, what we need to do is go back into our notes here and we want to go to create new book note and we want to search for a book here. Like, for example, we want to search for a book that is like this one. So let's just search for it. And as you can see, we have Hunger Games here. So in this case, go ahead and choose a book that you want to add. Like for example, let's use this one. And from there, you will be able to see different information about this one. But if you don't see the specific information, like for example, the preview link, link or ISBN in here, you can go ahead and just search it again. And as you can see, we'll be able to see further details about it. Now, book search is a great tool if you're like, for example, you're still in school and you want to have a very quick information or get a quick information about that specific book. Now, in this case, you'll be able to see the cover URL, the description about it, the link, preview link, and a lot more. But yeah, so those are the tools or the plugins that you might want to try in Obsidian. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.